I'm Derek Jews with the Environmental Sciences Department at Clark. And today I have a question for you. How well are your products working? How do you measure how well your products are working? Customer complaints? Hearsay? Gut reaction? An easy way to answer these questions is something called the bottle bioassay. A bottle bioassay is a method that helps determine the efficacy or effectiveness of a product, as well as providing a baseline for future monitoring. This test can help us determine if a product is working or if more testing is needed to provide proper guidance, such as a field trial. It's this simple. To start, we need two samples of mosquitoes, one susceptible and one wild. Susceptible mosquitoes have been reared in the lab and have not been exposed to any pesticides. Wild mosquitoes are collected from your area and have likely been exposed to pesticides not only from public health products, but also agricultural and homeowner products as well. Before we begin, make sure that you're following all safety precautions by wearing your proper PPE, such as gloves and safety glasses. To start, we need a few more things. We need sterilized bottles, known as Wheaton bottles, a pipette, and a small amount of formulated product. Now that I have everything, let's start. First, I add a calculated diagnostic dose of product to each bottle with the pipette. Next, I'll roll the bottle to coat the inside surface evenly with the product. Then, it needs to sit long enough to dry thoroughly. This usually takes about an hour. Once the treated bottles are dry, the mosquitoes need to be transferred. I've already done this. Both bottles have approximately 10 to 20 mosquitoes in each, susceptible and wild. At this point, I mark the time when the mosquitoes are added and then monitor both samples at specific time intervals, up to as long as two hours. In this demonstration, both lab-reared and wild-caught mosquito samples were susceptible to the adulticide meaning 100% died within the same time period. Susceptible, the wild. Here is the data from this demonstration plotted on a graph. When 100% of both samples are controlled within the specific time period, this indicates that there is no sign of resistance. Now, this is a graph of a different bottle bioassay, where both samples did not die within the same time frame. You can see 100% of the susceptible lab sample died in 45 minutes but there was a 15 minute delay before 100% of the wild sample died. According to the CDC, if less than 90% of your mosquitoes die within that specific diagnostic time, resistance is present. So what does that mean? It means yes, it took a little longer for the mosquitoes to die, but the fact is your product still works. To summarize, what does a bottle bioassay tell you? It tells you one, if your product is working, Two, if your product is working but with a slight time delay, then continue to monitor. Or three, you may consider adding a field trial. Why? Because a field trial will show you how our product works under realistic field conditions. I hope this quick review helps explain the value in doing bottle bioassays. So if you have any questions, concerns, or simply don't know where to start, contact the Clark Environmental Sciences team. We are here to help.